So I may have gone a little bit overboard with Advents this year. Let's get these things open. So we're gonna start with the patterns and then we'll get back into the advents that I got for this year and the plans that I am making with those. Now, last year I started creating this Ravelry pattern bundle. Basically it's just one big favorites list of all kinds of patterns, both knit and crochet, that I personally went through and think would be great for advent making. I've been adding to it more and more throughout the year, and then of course a lot more intensely in the last few weeks as more designers have been re uh, releasing their advent patterns. There are now almost 200 patterns in that bundle, so I'll have it linked down below. And I'll link last year's video because I talked about quite a few patterns in that one as well. Now these 10 patterns are all brand new for 2023. I've already added the, them to the bundle if they have come out, but I'll also have them linked individually down below. Now advent patterns can be kind of tricky, there are some patterns that are like just straight up written for advents. Okay, you're going to use 24, 20 gram minis, and here's how you use them. But with a little creativity and a little bit of math, a lot of patterns can become advent patterns. You're going to see some of those in the ones that I'm sharing with you today. First up is the Tis the Season Wrap by Twin Stitches Designs. It is coming out at the end of November and based on the other patterns will retail between seven and 12 Canadian dollars. Now this pattern is a wrap with kind of like a pointy arrow style. We have some photos here since the pattern page isn't out as of recording this, but it should be out this month. You can either use 12 um, 20 gram minis with the main color or 24 20 gram minis. And with that contrast color, you really get like a beautiful um, look with it. It's very like clean cut and looks really nice and looks like something that would be easy to do daily, like open your advent, add in another one. You do need that main skein though, so prepare accordingly. I know a lot of advents do come with a main skein color, but they're not always in contrast to the minis. A lot of times they go with the mini. So this may be a pattern that you kind of hold off on and start once you've seen how your advent is looking. This is something that I'm trying to um, adapt to this year is saying like, okay, you don't have to actually use the advent in the order that you receive it, right? You don't have to open up day one and use that color first. You can actually just open the whole advent throughout December and decide later on or change your colors around as you go. It is your advent, so you can do whatever you would like with it. Pattern number two is the Trifle Advent Shawl by Crystal T Knits. This pattern came out on November 24th, which is prior to the recording of this video. So my best estimate for cost is between seven and 750 US dollars. Crystal T Knits has a ton of advent patterns. So definitely go look through Tara's other patterns if this one is not your cup of tea. This is a triangular shawl, looking at the picture right now, and it's got several different textures in it. It's got garter stitch that's alternating in there. It's got some kind of like little nup bobble looking thing, and then lace. So several things to keep your interest. Now for this one, you will need 24 20 gram minis, which makes it really nice and perfect for a um, for an advent. Um, I was talking with her about the shawl and she said that you'll need varying amounts of each one, like not every single color is gonna be used up to the full 20 grams. I think at most you're gonna use maybe 17 and a half. And then like the beginning ones, because you have fewer stitches, only use like five grams. But all in all, this is gonna be a great pattern to just open and work, open and work, especially if you have a gradient or an advent calendar where your yarns all go together. Now, Tara has given us a coupon code um, for her patterns. Use code LOVE20 and you can get 20% off her patterns. Next up is another yet to be released pattern. This is Passiflora Wrap by 
Amber O'Brien. It is coming in November and based on the other patterns that Amber O'Brien has, will be between seven and eight US dollars. I promise I have more information in the upcoming patterns that have already been released, but because we're starting with three absolutely brand new patterns for 2023. I am doing my best detective work to find things from Instagram and talking with the designers, etc. So um, Amber O'Brien is another person who has a ton of advent patterns. Passiflora is a singular pattern, but I actually have two different um, photos for you. I'm going to link her two project pages that she did with this. So the first one is a more of a stripey version. It uses 12 20 gram minis plus uh, some a main color. I think it's a just 100 grams of a main color. Looks really, really cool. A really fun way to use a smaller advent pack if you have 12 minis or maybe you just have 12 leftovers you wanna use or maybe you want to select out 12 minis from a 24 mini advent set or you can make two shawls lots of places to go with this one. Now the other version looks almost entirely different. It's also a little harder to tell because um, the photos don't have it like held up quite in the same way. Some of some of them do, but not all of them. But this one is a fade version and uses 24 colors. So I like how one pattern can look so different depending on the amount of yarn you use and then how you work the yarn. So it says in her pattern notes or her project page notes um, that she is going to have instructions for both ways to make it um, with the 12 mini skeins or with the 24 mini skeins and has like exact yardages for you and all kinds of stuff. Ambo O'Brien is a fantastic pattern designer, so I think you can definitely trust in this pattern to be one that you can make as you go. Now, something else fun I discovered while looking through her patterns is that she is having the Amba's Festive Cow, where you can join in on Ravelry. I think there's a Ravelry group and you can make any of her 20 advent patterns. It said that there were more coming in November. So check that out and maybe join in and find one of her patterns to make this year. Here is where we're going to get a little bit mathy, but don't worry, I've done a lot of the work for you. I saw this pattern and fell in love with it. It's not intended for advents, but it will totally work. So this is the Patchwork Pullover by Claire Jackson of Perfectly Knotted. It's in the Sorella collection. It retails for $8 and it is already released. And we'll talk about how much yarn you're gonna need in just a second. This sweater is amazing. It is a patchwork pullover. So it's got these big color block squares on the front and the back, and then the sleeves are solid. Now you could change that up if you wanted to, especially once I start getting into like advent skein usage. Um, I have some ideas for different sizes because obviously you need different amounts of yarn. Um, you could do just patchwork on the front and do solid on the back, and that way you can supplement in with your advent more main color. There's so many ways to go, again, if you're willing to do a little bit of math. But let me talk you through the math that I did here. So this pattern is available in uh, multiple sizes from extra small to 5X. I did purchase the pattern and download it so that I could check intentionally that there was enough, um, that you could have enough yarn with an advent. And honestly, you can up to a size 3X. Once we get into the size 4X and the 5X, you're going to need to supplement with some other minis or make a change where you make the back solid um, if that's like a look that you're okay with. I think that that would look very beautiful. Um, other than that, here's the bottom line and then I'll, I'll circle back to some of the math that I did. The bottom line is for sizes, um, extra small up to 2XL. Hold on, I have, I mean, I can't even tell you that I think I spent like 30 minutes doing the math on this. I really enjoy doing that. It was a lot of fun. Um, so, oh, one important thing I forgot to mention about this sweater. It's a DK weight sweater. So all the math that I did was for using a fingering weight advent calendar where you hold the yarn double. So right away, when you go fingering weight to DK weight, you take your fingering weight yardage and divide it in half because you're holding it double and fingering weight held double is DK. So right away you're like losing half your yardage in holding it double. So just keep that in mind as well. So according to my math, which you should definitely double check and make sure before you start out on your own, you should be able to use a 24 mini skein advent calendar 
four up to sizes to, uh, sorry, three XL, I believe. Once you get into the four XL, instead of 24 minis, you're going to need 28 minis. So supplement with four extra um, leftovers that you have of 20 grams, grab something from another admin calendar, or maybe you can like incorporate in your main color in some way. In the 5XL, um, to my best math knowledge, you will need 31 total minis. So you'll need to supplement in seven additional minis. Or again, you could make that change where you just have the patchwork on the front and you use um, your main color on the back. Now, every single size, no matter what, you're also going to need two to three skeins of DK weight yarn in your main color. If you make the switch from to do patchwork on the back of your sweater, I didn't do the math for that, so you'll need to figure out additional yardage. Skein. It's not a pattern that's meant for advents. Um, I'm just trying to make it so. Um, so I did a lot of math and figured out a lot of things on like how you would need to um, do all of your squares and everything. And what I figured out is if you're making the extra small, you just need the 24 um, mini skeins, right? You would do 16 colors in one, like you do take 16 of your colors and use them just once and take eight of your colors and use them twice and you'll have plenty of yardage. For the small through 2XL, you need 40 total um, squares between the front and the back. You would take 16 of your 24 colors and use them twice, eight of your colors and use them once. Is this all making sense? <laughs> if you're actually going to be doing this, I think I might do this in the future, not for December, but for later, um, let me know because I already got all the math figured out. Um, and then if you're doing the 3XL through 5XL, you'll need 48 total, 24 and 24. So for the three X, you can use each color twice. That's actually like the perfect one, right? Because you can use one advent, um, you can use each color on the front and the back. It's like perfect. Um, so if you're a three XL, easy math. Um, for the four XL, you need 28 total minis. So again, that's four additional. You can use 20 of your colors twice and eight of your colors once and you're good. And then for the 5XL with 31 total minis, you can use seven, this, this took me so long to figure out, um, 17 of your colors twice and 14 of your colors once. So again, I know that was a lot to talk at you, but I do have all the information. If you need it, let me know, Show, give me some proof of pattern purchase, and I'm happy to send you those notes. Number five is the Summer Fade Hexi Blanket by Mallory Crawl. This pattern came out in June of 2023 and is available either for free on the blog or for $5.99 Canadian. Whenever a pattern is available on a blog for free or as a PDF purchase, I always suggest if it is not cost prohibitive for you to purchase the PDF pattern because one, you're helping to support the designer that put all that work into it. This video, or this video, <laughs> this pattern has two video tutorials. It has a full blog that you can like go through. I love that because then I can kind of look at the pattern and get an idea if I want it. And then once I decide, um, I can purchase a pattern and have a nice clean PDF while also continuing to support the designer without driving myself crazy going onto a blog. <laughs> it's so much nicer. So you may recognize this pattern because it is one that I have been working on myself. Now there's two ways you could approach this with an advent calendar. You could go with the original pattern, which has smaller hexi squares that I'm doing on mine. It also has a lot of main color yarn. So you will have to supplement this for sure. This is not a pattern that can be done with only one advent. It's either going to be a multi-advent pattern or one you maybe start with an advent and then start adding in like scraps throughout the year. Actually, that would be a really cool idea. Like you could start the blanket and then going into the next year, into 2024, as you finish up things, you could just add to it or collect mini skeins or get row ones or something. I don't know. That could be really, really fun. Um, but for my version of it, you need a little bit more yarn per hexi. For the original version, you don't need quite as much per hexi. So let's start with the original. This one has originally 10 colors that are used 10 times. So 10 colors, um, 
each 10 hexes. So that's 100 hexes already. And then it has main color hexes and it kind of moves into the pattern like so. So with 24 colors, you'll have to play with how you want to adapt each of those. But this is what I figured out with more, less, less math. I was gonna say more smaller, <laughs> with less math than the patchwork pullover. Oh, and this is a crochet pattern, by the way. I guess I should start by saying that. This is a crochet pattern and you will need fingering weight held double or DK weights. If you have a DK weight advent calendar, I didn't do any math on that because I don't know the yardage, but I did do some math for adapting for fingering weight. So 10 colors, um, sorry, wait, let me go back up here. I basically figured out that you need a total of 2,100 yards. You know what? I'm questioning this for a second, so hang on and let me check my math. All right, I'm glad I stopped and did some additional math on that because I totally forgot to double the total yardage needed when converting from DK to fingering weight. So this pattern is a little less advent ready than I anticipated. I would actually say that it's gonna be better to do it scrappy. I'll show that in just a second. But if you do like the original look, but you wanna add in a lot more color, I think this one is going to be best done with two advent calendars. So. This may be good for you then if you have two advent calendars that are similar or if you have an advent calendar you've been receiving from the same um, dyer over multiple years. Like I know there's several dyers that kind of do a reoccurring theme, whether it's books or shows or something like that um, that go together. So this may be a good option for you. You will still need a another main color. So. You'll need about eight skeins of DK weight yarn in a main color. I know this takes up a lot of yarn. And then you'll need those two fingering weight advent calendars. Each mini will be held double. And to my best knowledge, you can use each mini for about two hexes. So if you have 48 minis um, and each one can make two, that's going to get you to what, 96 hexagons and in the original pattern there are 100 colorful hexagons so that will get you very very close so sorry that's not exactly what i thought it was going to be but i think it could still work now if you have a singular advent calendar or even if you have multiple i think this is a really fun way to do it i have been working on this blanket as my travel project where i've been adding in yarn from each store that we've been going to as we have been traveling around the country. And I think it looks really, really cool. It looks like this. And the way that I'm putting it together is I've started from the center and then I'm adding hexes around and around. So if you only have, I'm gonna stand up here, if you only have one advent calendar, you're not gonna get a super huge um, hexy. You're gonna get from, let's see, the center, and then that's six additional, that's seven total. And then on the next go around, um, I believe that was 12. So seven plus 12, 19. So essentially you could get a finished item with 19 colors. Once you start getting into 24, you're going into the next ring. So it's not gonna be a completed ring. So you could have from about, I should have measured this, from about here to here. That's actually not so bad. Uh, I don't know, I would say best guess it's about two feet. Might make a good like little pet blanket if you have a small pet. And it will be that way in um, diameter, like all the way around, kind of a hexy shape. Now, if that's not something that's interesting to you, making a tiny, tiny blanket, you might wanna start this out with your advent calendar, maybe add in a second advent calendar next year. Or like I mentioned before, you could start it for advent. Very easy to do every single day and then you could add to it throughout the rest of the year and it could just be a really fun ongoing project. These hexes are joined as they go and I have all the notes for the modifications that I made from the original pattern to make the hexes one round bigger. I think it just kind of edges them off really, really nicely and I have some tips for making them lay flat. We are halfway through and next I have for you another wrap. 
This is the Slay All Day Advent Wrap by Allison Stouffer. It came out in January of 2023 and it is available for seven US dollars. Now, this is a pattern that I believe was part of an advent kit in December of 2022. So only people who had that advent got the pattern during December and then it released immediately after on the designer's pattern page. The original one is done in Lofty Loops yarn and it's really pretty. It's a long, narrow wrap. Um, what I like about doing a wrap for Advent is that you have about the same amount of knitting every single day. So it's very much like predictable in if you can consistently keep up with the daily colors added in. Um, for this wrap, you are going to need 24 20 gram minis plus a 50 gram skein of surdy, or maybe you could substitute in mohair, something that's going to complement your colors, not take away from them, and you hold them together. Um, so you need that additional uh, skein of yarn to hold with your yarns as you open them every single day. This pattern also has a lot of fun texture in it. It is repetitive, but not too repetitive. So it's got, um, like a texture stitch garter, a different texture stitch garter, and it changes. I think there's maybe like, just from looking at the photos, there's maybe three or four maybe um, alternating stitches. Some has lace, some is very simple. Some looks like slip stitches, some looks like ribbing. So it seems like a good one that is enough to keep your interest while also being doable every single day. Number seven is a stunner. This is the Orlando Wrap by Tanya Franz. It came out in February of 2023 and it retails for five euros and 80, 580 euros. I don't know how to say that. Is it cents? <laughs> five euros and 80 somethings? I don't know how to say that. Um, but anyway, you can purchase it on Ravelry just with like all the others. I had the link down below. Now this one really drew my eye because of the big dynamic like holes in the middle of it. So it's a wrap, which means just like the other wrap we were just talking about, it's nice consistent daily knitting, which we love, um, but it does have really interesting um, like techniques in it. it kind of reminds me Stephen West-ish, but I would say a little more feminine. Maybe that's because it the uh, sample one is knit in pinks. I don't know why it's reading that way for me. Um, you know what? I'm going to take that back because I don't like that I said that. I feel like depending on the color, this can actually read feminine or masculine. I'm just seeing the pinks and I really like the pinks. Um, anyway, you need 24 mini skeins plus two 100 gram skeins. So this is a big shawl. There is another version that is a solid version and all of that information is in here. And then the only other thing I would point out for this pattern is that it's available in two languages. It's available in English and in German. So check that one out and maybe a great one for your list. Speaking of Stephen West, our next pattern is a blanket by Stephen West. It came out in November of 2023 and is available for seven euros. This pattern is really cool looking. It's not designed for advents, but I think it could be pretty cool depending on how you put your colors together. There's a lot of ways to wiggle around this one. There's multiple sizes in this blanket, and I think you could either use just one advent. I, I do think you can achieve that with the smallest size blanket, or I think it could be cool if you use your advent alongside a solid color and alternate your colors throughout. So this blanket has kind of a cool um, like 3D effect. It's like these little tiny parallelograms and then it's surrounded of course by I-cord because it's Stephen West, um, but it has these little tiny parallelograms and it is a DK weight pattern. So you'll need to hold fingering weight double. And so he says that each a uh, little parallelogram takes 15 yards. So that's of DK weight. So if we double it for fingering, then we have 30 yards per parallelogram, which doing some quick math means that we could likely make three parallelograms out of each mini skein because usually fingering weight mini skeins have around 90 yards. It just depends. Um, so when I was kind of 
mathing this out, um, I figured that you could actually achieve that small size blanket. It's 33 inches by 24 inches or baby blanket size. And it seems like you could make that happen with a singular advent. Of course, if you wanted to make it bigger, you could add in a few skeins of a main color there. I wanna say to match um, main color yarn to a full advent, you need about six skeins. So it really does like, double the amount of yardage you have to work with. Um, that's based on some of the other projects that I'm working on. So that could be really, really fun. You'll also need 100 yards for the I-cord border. So that could be an additional uh, mini that you have lying around or a full skein or something that you wanna supplement in. Number nine is the Knit Vent Trifle Wrap by Helen Stewart. It came out in October of 2023 and is only available as an ebook, which is 18 great British pounds and comes with four other patterns. So we've talked about a few queens of the advent pattern, Ambo O'Brien and Crystal T Knits. And now we have Helen Stewart who has so many beautiful advent patterns. I don't know how long she's been doing the knit vent event for, um, but from what I can understand, you can buy this pattern booklet. Um, it looks like 18 Great British Pounds is around 23.47 uh, in US dollars, at least today. And it comes with this wrap that I'm going to talk about. Let me click on what the other patterns are. It looks like it comes with socks, cowl, um, a shawl, and a hat. Um, and these are patterns that you can also join in to uh, the Curious Handmade community and talk with other people about. So for the wrap specifically, um, you will need 24 20 gram minis plus uh, 225 grams of mohair. So I think that's going to be multiple. I know it's gonna be multiple skeins. I don't know exactly how many skeins of mohair that's gonna be. It seems like a lot um, for holding it the whole time together, but it is a bigger wrap. Um, it's really pretty chevron wrap with the two yarns held together, stripy looking, but it's nice and wide um, and nice and long. So it looks like it has the ability to really keep you warm um, with all of that knitting. This would be another beautiful one to use on a daily basis. Um, it seems like it could you could potentially do the knitting in a day, although it might be quite a lot of knitting each day. So don't stress yourself out. I'm reminding myself this too. Don't stress yourself out about actually knitting through your whole mini skein in a day. Remember how much knitting or crochet um, one mini skein can actually take and uh, take it easy. You can still, this is my uh, permission slip for everybody. You can still continue to open all of your advents even if you're not knitting or crocheting through them. You know what I mean? Like you can still open them daily and then just get to them when you get to them. I don't know why I need permission to do that, but I'm guessing there's some other people like that out there. So this one's gorgeous. I think it would be pretty for most advents. I mean, your yarns don't have to go perfectly together, but it would look really pretty in a fade as well. Number 10 here, and this one is very interesting. I saved it for last because I think this is so cool. This is the Advent Mystery Shawl Cal 2023 by Renee Strouts. It came out this month, November 2023, and is available for $5.50 in US dollars, or you can get it for free through November 30th. She's got a code in her Ravelry page. Now I'm gonna say it one more time, but if the $5.50 is just arbitrary for you, if you can afford it, I think it's always, it's always one of those things where it's like, if this money is not gonna be um, something that keeps me from doing something else, I can actually use it to support a small designer. So if you can um, buy the pattern at full price to support the designer, I can see she's already doing a ton of work into this mystery shawl. When I, was, when I found it on Instagram, somebody shared it to their stories that I follow, and I, I had not seen this designer before, but um, all of her past posts are about this, and she's like, wow, um, I didn't think this was gonna be so popular and people are gonna be so excited about it. So here's more information. And then like a couple days later, it's like, I made a Ravelry group and like all this stuff. So it's really exciting. Um, this designer has about, uh, I think like 20 other patterns um, out right now. And so this could be really cool if this one just really like blows all the other ones out of the water and we can really uh, show, some so show some support for her. I think that would be really, really cool. 
Anyway, the mystery. So this is a pattern specifically designed for Advent and to be open daily and used daily. Uh, it looks like I, I did purchase the pattern and I downloaded the um, info page, which is available now. And it said that there were going to be pattern updates daily. So like starting on November 30th in the evening, um, you'll get your uh, information for the next day. Um, the pattern is a shawl. Um, let me see. It is uh, designed to use either 10 or 20 grams. So if you have a 10 gram mini set, perfect. If you have a 20 gram mini set, perfect. Um, but 24 colors in total, um, which means you could also take, you know, a 12 gram, I'm sorry, a 12 times 20 gram set and split it in two and just repeat your colors. Um, and then it uses the same amount of yarn of each color. Uh, da, 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 da. The, as she said, I did all the math for you. Um, the 10 gram version is expected to use eight to nine grams of each color. The 20 gram sample uses 15 to 16. Um, so I'm really excited to see this one uncover um, be revealed. I'm thinking about making it myself, although I have already told myself I'm gonna do something very simple. So we'll see, I'm thinking about it still. I'm not 100% certain yet, um, but this does seem like the first time at least that I'm seeing a mystery shawl knit along for the Advent season. We're gonna get into all of the Advents now. The ironic thing about this year is that this is the most number of Advents by a lot <laughs> that I have ever had. And this year, of course, we're living in a van in the smallest space we've ever lived in. So I totally and fully get the irony. Now, I know that I am very, very blessed to have this many Advents. I feel really, really grateful. These Advents are a combination of Advents that I have purchased and Advents that have been gifted to me from dyers. I could not say no <laughs> when I was offered an advent because there are just so many beautiful things out here. And um, hopefully this can also kind of serve to help um, other people see like what advents are available and what you may want to be looking for in the future. I get asked a lot, like, how do you find um, advents to purchase? And I always find it's easiest when I'm following yarn dyers. They usually post them sometime in the late spring to early summer, which is early in the year because making advents is a ton of work for dyers. Usually an advent consists of 24 mini skeins, 20 grams, and then sometimes a full skein, sometimes extras, but there are so much variety out there. Um, fingering weight is very typical, but now you can get DK weight advent calendars. You can get four like full 100 gram skein advent calendars. I mean, there's just endless things out there, but most of these are going to be kind of what I think of as like a standard 24 minis with a full skein or not um, advent calendar. Now, I'm definitely not going to be working with all of these Advents during the month of December. My plan is to work with one and then just enjoy opening the rest. So you're going to see all of these during Vlogmas. I'll be opening all the day ones on December 1st, all the day twos on December 2nd, and so on. And then I have 10. I know. I have 10 and nine of them are yarn and one of them I believe is a combination of accessories, or I think it's mostly accessories. We're going to find out together. Um, but I wanted to show you all of the beautiful advents, how they come packaged. I'm not going to open up any of the extras or anything um, until day one of Vlogmas, but I am going to be deconstructing all of these boxes right after I film this video and putting them into a container that I can easily fit into our van. So without further ado, let's get into these advents and I'll have all the shops linked down below. You can't purchase advents anymore, but maybe some of the shops will have extras and I'm sure they'll have them next year. Oh, by the way, do we, how are we feeling about this light <laughs> going across my face and just uh, ignore the chaos in the background. This is the space where I sleep when I'm at my parents' house, Kent and Toaster and I. And it's the biggest space and the best one for me to show you these. So we're going to start with um, Brazos Fiberworks out of Texas. I met Jennifer at DFW Fiberfest. Oh, that's not her box. It's right here. 
and it came in this box here. And here is what it looks like. Um, it is a, a 12 days of Christmas advent calendar. And it comes with like a little note that I haven't read. I mean, I literally just opened these like as you saw me. Day three looks like something a little different, but I believe uh, most of these are gonna be yarn. You can see there's different stuff in there. So I'm excited to get into that. I just, I'm gonna try to be as brief as possible because we could sit here all day talking about these amazing advents. Um, okay, next up is Twice Sheared Sheep. I actually, I can't remember where they are out of right now, but they have amazing accessories for knitters and crocheters. They come up with all these really cool and clever things. Where did that one just go? I think it's right here. Maybe? Nope. Toaster, where did that one go? We're, we're having a good time. Oh, here we go. Okay, this one is probably one that's going to stay in the box because it comes in this really cool box. So uh, a little note card and then look at that. Let's take that out of there. Oh gosh. <laughs> Don't think we need this box anymore, but it comes in its own really beautiful box. Should we open it? Actually, yes, we're going to. <laughs> okay, let's see. Oh, it's like a taped thing. Well, let's open this guy up. Merry Christmas on November. Oh, cool. Okay, so definitely a lot of accessories happening in here. All these amazing little boxes. This one is gonna stay in the box for travel um, and not go into Ziploc bags like I've planned for all of the yarn. So very cool. I'm excited to see what kinds of fun goodies are in that one. Okay, this is one that I purchased myself and I'm very excited about. It is Chelsea Yarns out of New Jersey and the theme is Christmas in New York. So it even has this fun tape on the box that has like fun things that are in New York City um, and an apple on it. Cause you know, it's the big apple. So let's see what this one is looking like in here. I know there were a lot of extras you could get in this one, but I think I just got the full skein, which is visible and open here on the top. So I may, um, may not show that because I know some people are gonna wait to open it, but it looks like I have a tote bag, a full skein of yarn, which I'm just gonna set over here. It looks like there is a, one of these like traditionally, I think they're called, I don't know what they're called traditionally. I've always called them black and white cookies, but this one is obviously pink. I know there's gonna be a lot of pink in here. Oh, I said I wasn't gonna do extras. I'll do it later. Here's what it looks like. Everything's bagged and ready to go with like some more goodies and extras that I will be Again, talking about on the first day of Vlogmas. Oh my God, this is so cute. Okay, we gotta save some stuff for day one of Vlogmas and make this video not too long. Okay, Pretty Twisted Yarns is my next one out of Florida. Let me find that one. Nope, nope, nope. I think that was the one I tried to grab over here. If I'm remembering right, um, I think this one is going to be, yes, a neon gradient. How cool is that? Um, it says there are 24 20 gram mini skeins. I use six dyes to create a 24 day neon gradient. And then there's a 100 gram skein that's one of a kind. Nobody will have the exact same main skein. So this is gonna be one that I think is going to make a really beautiful project, something that you can grab from and just work throughout the day or throughout the month. <laughs> so it comes like this. You can't really see what's underneath it, but there are, sorry there, there are um, individual baggies. Hold on, let's see. That are, oh, this is packed so nicely. That look like this, nice and bagged, which we, love, especially because I'm going to be separating all mine and putting like all the day ones together, etc. Okay. Ruby and Roses is out of Indiana. And this is my friend, Addie. When we were there in September, I think we visited her dye studio and filmed a uh, tour there. And I got to see a sneak peek of the advent. 
It is unique because all of the colorways in the Advent are brand new for the Advent. So she develops all of these colorways to work together. It's a multicolor, lots of different colors, um, but Addie has such a good eye for color, you know they're all gonna go together great. Um, this says, uh, wishing you a magical Christmas journey of color. And this card here has all the colorway names on the back. So I won't show that yet but it looks like this on the inside. And each of the yarns are bagged, either a red or a green velvet bag, and they are stamped with a number. And there's also a box here in the middle. So we will save that for opening in just a few days. Vlogmas is starting so soon. December 1st is on Friday, so I am so excited. Okay, next up, Suburban Stitcher out of Texas. Diane, this year, decided to do an all pink advent calendar, and I obviously could not resist that. So let's see, oh, that's not the right one. Where are you? Where are you, Diane? Not there either. Oh, here, right here on top. Um, I don't, I think this is my first year. Oh, wait a second. I think this is my first year with all but two dyers, and I haven't gotten to those yet. So I'm excited to experience. I've used Suburban Stitcher yarn many times. I love Diane's yarn, but never the advent. Okay, this is cool. So this is called I'm Dreaming of a Pink Christmas, and there is a pattern from Telly Bean Knits that comes with it, and there's a download code here. Um, and then there's just like this cute little card that I'm not going to show because it has all the code on it, the codes on it and stuff, but a cute little card with instructions. Here's the photo that she had been showing with inspo. And then everything is wrapped and labeled and in pink, of course. So very, very excited. Nice. Oh my gosh, I cannot wait. I am gonna tell you what I'm planning to do with my advents, not all of them, because I don't know what I'm gonna do with all of them yet. Um, next, I got a few more patterns to share with you. Okay, what are we on? Seven, the little wolf knits. So, oh, where did it go? Oh, here it is. My friend Brianna, we stayed with her just a few weeks ago in Pennsylvania, and she has been doing a Schitt's Creek advent calendar, which is a show, Schitt's Creek, it's very funny. And I believe this is the third year. So if you've been getting them yearly, these are fun to use together. Um, if you aren't getting them yearly, you can like always get next year's. Um, I have not gotten them before, but I'm excited to do so. And I, picked mine up in person. <laughs> so it didn't come in a box, um, but it looks like this and everything's bagged and labeled. There's a, well, no, again, I'm, I keep wanting to tell you about the extras. There's a candle in here um, that she also makes and does the scents and everything. So I'm very excited about this one. I love a themed advent calendar. I don't think we'll be able to play the guessing game with this one because I have watched Schitt's Creek and Kent hasn't, but I do have another advent calendar ready for the guessing game this year. Um, okay, so the first, this is the first one that I have received before, and it is a homespun house. Where are ya? Oh, right here. Oh, sorry, Toaster, didn't mean to scare you, bud. Okay, a homespun house is Molly, and she is in Germany, and I got her advent calendar for the first time last year. I'm actually currently working with the yarn and putting it together in the most beautiful blanket. So I'm really excited for this year. I do believe, um, yes, I, I had a feeling. This year's Advent is a fade. Um, it says, for those of you who don't love a fade, open your calendar in random order. That's a fun idea. I like that. Uh, let's see. A homespun house is wishing you a very Merry Christmas. Um, thank you for letting us be a part of your Advent season. So so excited for Molly's. Now, she does include something that's very, very cute. This was in last year's as well, but slightly different. And it is some twine and like little snowflake ornaments and beads so that you can actually take your advent calendar um, because it comes in these little bags with uh, drawstring ties and you can hang it up and put it like across a fireplace or maybe across a wall. Um, and it's so, so cute to do so. So I love that little touch um, that that comes with. Uh, everything else we're going to save for later, yep. Okay, 
uh, blush, blush yarns, excuse me, is a, is a new one for me. And I don't think I've used Natalie's yarn before. Um, this is out of British Columbia, Canada, and I am not a hundred percent certain if there is a theme to this one. Uh, let's see here. Oh my gosh. There's a lot going on. There's like a Christmas card and a, and a bag. It looks like there is, oh, wow. I'm just trying to show you in a, in a sense what's in the advent calendar. Feels like there might be a full skein, something else in here. Um, but this, oh, and I can't, oh my gosh, there's so many cool things. I'm so excited to fully dive into these. Uh, but it looks like this, everything's packaged and labeled. I always appreciate that. I know this is so much labor to not only dye all the mini skeins, but then put them all together like this. And so advents to me are such a treat. They are such a special time of year. So not 100% certain what the theme of this one is, if there is one, but I'm really excited to try Natalie's yarn because I love her aesthetic. One more. And this one is a repeat for me. This might be my third year getting fangirl fibers. She always has the most fun themes. And this year's theme is Toy Story. If you remember last year, um, it was retro, like the Sears catalog retro toys. And Kent and I had a lot of fun playing a guessing game out of it during Vlogmas. And so this will be our guessing game this year. We actually need to prep. We need to watch those Toy Story um, movies. So all the colorways are on this card. So we're not gonna show them, but Toy Story. Um, it looks like there's a bat. Oh, there's so many fun things in here, but everything is super nicely labeled. Um, I believe Emily did other themed advents this year too, not just Toy Story, but this is the one that we landed on because we figured it would be so much fun for guessing. I learned last year that it is way too much to expect myself to work with all of my advents. And that's when I had maybe four, three advents. <laughs> and obviously with this many advents, there's no possible way that I could knit or crochet through all of them in December. I also just realized that it's not, it doesn't make the feeling that I want to have during advent season, which is one of being like, very cozy, working on something that's bite-sized every single day and enjoyable. And then a lot of advents, I wanna see them all before I actually make something. So I had a lot of fun this uh, early this year making with all the advents that I had opened in December. So like January through uh, June, I was making with all the advents that I had received and I found a lot of joy in that as well. I do have a couple of plans though for the Advent season and even beyond. And I'm already kind of thinking about which Advents to use with what. So here are my plans. The first one actually toaster is sitting on top of right now. So I really can't show it to you, but can you kind of see back here? It is a Chevron blanket. It is called the Crochet Advent Baby Blanket by Lucien Crochet. And I made it earlier this year, not during Advent season, but with my Fangirl Fibers Advent. Uh, actually it was a July Advent, it's a Pokemon on one and I want one for myself. So I did the math and this advent has 31 days. So I figured out how I can make it work with a 24 day advent calendar. Essentially all I have to do is add one row per stripe and I will get the same blanket. And it's a blanket that is a total lap blanket or baby blanket or even pet blanket. It's not gonna cover you fully, but I do find that if I'm sitting on the couch with my legs straight out, it will cover me from toes to hips and I have pretty long legs. So it's a really decent size. I'll have notes on how I'm doing that um, in the project page when I start it, or you can find it on that project page. As far as which advent I'm going to use, I'm still a little undecided. I have a few more days to figure it out. Um, I'm, I've been debating a couple of things. I know the Homespun House one is going to be really beautiful as a fade, and that could be really fun as a blanket, um, but also the neon fade could be really cool as a blanket. So I'm kind of toying between those two, especially because they're fades. I feel like they will make really fun, beautiful blankets. Now, that's probably all I'm gonna be 
managing in December with Advent making. I do have a lot of other holiday themed yarns. I'm going to be making socks. I'm going to be also working on a blanket from last year. And that kind of brings me into ideas for the like January, February, you know, later on in 2024. I'm just realizing that my beautiful bag, I think some puppies have been licking the bag. So I might need to find some cleaner for that, see if I can get that off. Anyway, it adds character. But what I wanted to show you is, uh, wait, why did I want to show this? Oh, because I was thinking about for the future, making a sweet shop blanket. You may have seen this one. It has become a really popular pattern for leftover yarns, but it would also be fantastic for Advent. So it's the Sweet Shop Blanket by Laura Penrose, and you can do it in different sizes. If you just have a 24 mini skein, 20 gram Advent calendar, you can make, uh, I think you can make it like the small size, the baby size. Um, she's got a lot of really good um, information just in the Ravelry details before you purchase the pattern. I haven't purchased it yet to look through it fully, but I think I did the math. I'm looking at my notes here that I did a few days ago, but I believe this math is that I could use a one advent calendar held double because it is for DK weight. So fingering held double and then use three to five full skeins to be the other half of the blanket because the blanket is, is quilt like and it's got all these squares where uh, one half is a color and one half is a neutral and it makes it look very quilty and like triangular. It's very cool. Um, but it did say in like the way bottom that you could use one advent and so you wouldn't have that neutral color with it. It would just be all advent and it could be uh, the smallest size. So I think that's really cool as well. And actually, I believe I brought, grabbed this because I was thinking that I'm going to do my a homespun house beautiful fade color for a blanket like that because it will just look so so good but we'll see i i'm gonna open everything up first and and see this is a homespun house from last year the neutral is a uh, color that i bought from molly later on but all of the little tiny squares are part of the advent and they're not the whole advent isn't pink i just started with the pink and this is the battenberg blanket i just started putting this together a few days ago and it's been such a joy. So this could definitely be another project maybe in the future. I don't always like to repeat projects, but I did want to share it because I thought it would be a fun one to do during Advent. What I did is I took her Advent from 2022 and I made six squares from each mini skein. It's definitely a project that's doable daily. So you make all of the colorful squares ahead of time, and then you need, I think, six skeins of the main. I have not finished mine yet, so I'm hoping to have it finished in December so I can like let people know. But you could spend all of December just making your small squares, and then you could spend January assembling them. And it's been so fun to put together. And I did make some edits for my Battenberg blanket, and I did an extra round, but it's all in my no page. So that's been really fun. I actually am planning to just keep working on this in December, even though it's not, it's not super adventy because it's already an advent that I opened and I worked through all the advent yarn, but it's something that's a good daily doable project. So the Chevron blanket and that one, and then maybe down the line, the sweet shop blanket. And then one, two others that are definitely on my list for the future. There is a sweater called Guardy Cardi by Anna De Daku, and it is so cute. It's fingering weight, held double, and it's meant for leftovers and scraps. Now, if you want to use an advent calendar, um, you, I don't know, I can't remember. I did a bunch of math. I think you can use 24 minis. And what I was thinking of doing is holding together my minis with Surrey instead of just a solid fingering weight color. And then you definitely need some full skeins for the border and the uh, cuffs and all of that stuff, but I'll figure that out um, in the future. And this pattern is to fit a 34 through a 64 inch bust. The finished measurement sizes are 40 through 70.75. So take a look at that one, but I'm thinking about using my Suburban Stitcher pink advent calendar and just making an all pink cardigan. I think it will be very cute. I know Diane has like some a really beautiful eye for color. 
I think her favorite color is like pink and mauve and everything. So I think that that would just be beautiful, but that's after I've opened it down the line. One more, <laughs> I really want to make a another blanket, a garter stitch blanket. It is by Molly of a Homespun House and it is called the Cozy Comfort Throw. It's very simple looking, it's garter stitch. Again, it's fingering weight held double. Um, but when I was at my friend Brianna's, she had made one and she held a fingering weight, like a four ply fingering weight yarn with a mohair and it just blended all the colors together so beautifully. The blanket was super soft and it was so cozy. It looked so good, like draped over their couch. It felt so good on, it was just a really nice blanket. So I might do that with her Schitt's Creek advent calendar because this one is a 31 day advent calendar. I think I forgot to mention that before. Um, I believe it is, I'll have to count. <laughs> but I think that will be really, really cool. So those are my tentative plans for December, always subject to change. But something that I wasn't gonna allow myself to do this year is go like commit to too many projects. I'd rather have a couple of projects on the docket and then see how it goes. It's totally just gonna be Plenty. It's probably going to be more than enough as is, but I'd rather just enjoy the Advent season, enjoy opening it and give myself permission to just enjoy the opening and not have to actually make something. Best of luck to everyone as you are planning out your Advent projects. There is so many things to choose from. You can't go wrong. And there's nothing wrong with starting an Advent pattern like five days into your Advent. See how it's starting and then you can, then you can pick something out or you can just wait until January. Or if you are like, somebody who doesn't mind, like I love the daily surprise of opening an advent, but I know there are people who wanna just open it all and see what it looks like. You can do that too. It's your advent, whatever you wanna do with it is totally fine. I'm gonna be showing off all of these advents every single day during Vlogmas. So every single day starting December 1st through December 25th, there is going to be a shorter video, a daily vlogs type style where I am opening advents, showing the advents, showing what I'm knitting and crocheting on, as well as just daily life and things that we're up to. We're gonna be in Florida for most of December. We're gonna have my uh, siblings in going to Disney. We're going down to the Keys. We're going to national parks. It's going to be uh, one of our more unique Vlogmases, I think it's going to be a whole lot of fun. So definitely make sure you're tuning in to that um, so you can see what's happening with us every single day. I hope you got a couple of advent pattern ideas or maybe even patterns for scraps or leftovers or other yarns that you have. I will have everything that I talked about linked down below as well as my bundle that has a whole lot more patterns on it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!